he's practicing with them and everything like that. So to not have him going forward, that's just you, you feel kind of like you wasted what uh, we're going into the third week here. That's that's kind of three weeks down the drain, and however longer it would take to find someone better. Oh, I mean that's the other thing too is they're they're five and one, and uh, the match they lost was actually the one where Mo was playing. Uh, that was Cash, by the way. I called that that was Inferno early on. It was actually Cash. Um, but regardless, I mean, it just goes to show that even with him in the roster, he can still be a, a contributing factor to have that sort of results with only a four confirmed or committed members. Um, it's pretty impressive. But knife round completed. We do finally get to go live in this matchup. Method versus CLG. The move ups versus the, uh, I guess, highly hyped up CLG, you could say. Yeah, you could say that for sure. I'm going to say it, Moses. I've already said it. You can't take it back now. <laughs> never. I would never do that to you. So we are going to get a pistol rod. Method is starting on that CT side, so that's a, that's a good start for them. That's exactly what they needed. Just be a little bit too difficult, in my opinion, for them to start on the T side on this map. And it's going to be a five armor buy for CLG, so not doing any fancy. This is just going to be something where they bully their way into some early kills. And a smoke already being deployed by Strabber over at B, at, by Roberts. That's very, very early on. No, There's only one more smoke on LA, and he's over... He's over at the A-side. He's at the rap side, so we could throw that over towards uh, towards B-bomb side to spare him out, but and that's exactly what he's going to do, actually. But two smokes used very early on in the match. So now it's up to Cutler to go on the scouting mission, because otherwise they walk out into this stack. Hayes already around the corner. Ely try to get damage out from the arch side. He's going to fall back silent. Wants to readdress the angle only with his P2000. Does spot Tarek jumping over, does good early damage, gets him down to 59, but when he re-peaks, he realizes he's got more than just one to deal with, so he'll fall back. They'll have to stay passive. Meanwhile, Bomb's gone back with FNS toward the B site, and they're going to go for this wrap, and quite successfully so, as they take down the player on Speedway. And now it's Strobes in the back of the site. Roberts, he's going to get the shot when he jumps around. Cutler gets in onto him, and CLG have opened this B site completely up and have full control of the round. Yeah, not, not a whole lot of support for this mid-B split going on, but here comes a three-man flank. Tarek goes down. They've spotted them all, so all the attention from CLG will be on this choke point. Try, Silent trying to find some kill. Nowhere from CLG really peaking, but JDM taking some shots from CT spawn. at the great. Can't connect anything. Mainline takes him out. FNS responds. Down to a two-on-two, -two, and here they come cleaning things out. A nice shot by Mainline. A kit right in front of him. He picks it up. He's got to find this kill, but he can't do it. Cutler's going to win it. Doesn't take a single point of damage. Two kills for him on the round. So 1-0 for CLG. I got a lot closer in the end than it needed to be, but they had a good amount of time off the bomb already, so those end kills ultimately were just for contributing to stats, taking pistols out of the hands, because the round was pretty much done five rounds before, or five seconds, excuse me, before it actually concluded. And we do see uh, finally some uh, some more SMGs come out. Two this time. We're slowly building to this four SMG meta that the uh, EU players are using. So JDM 64 and Hayes is going to be easy. It's good to see JDM being one of those players as well because if he wants to go for a T-sided op, this is exactly how to get it started. Pull out a gun, build up the economy with it, and hopefully they can find these early kills because JDM 64 gets the first on Justin, tries to get aggressive on the second player in the form of Roberts who gets forced back, and both of them are on very low age. Cutler knows he's in the corner. Yeah, and meanwhile Hayes falls on the other side of the map, so... It's a rebuttal. It's the equalizer. JDM's only at one HP. No map control for CLG. Still staying very far back. Although actually they do have control of banana, so that's one thing to be happy about. But it's only Streber over here in this B bomb site. There is a stack in middle. Mainline and uh, Ali is up on uh, up on top of each other's heads, and this is uh, an interesting. This is like a 1.6 stack, so they could find something here. Three CLG members are going to move up mid. The stack is working for, and it's going to work right now as the league gets the first. FNS is the one to drop, and they fall accordingly. Mainline does get around the corner. Unfortunately, Ali gets stuck inside the cubby, so that means Mainline has to stay in a position that's able to support him if they want to make that effective, and in fact, he's not. He's going to wrap all the way around to the other side of A. This still may catch them off guard if he gets there quick enough. Uh, but he stays in pit. Equally as smart. Pit's a really solid spot, but they're already spotted him. Cutler sees him over the top. Ali does peek back out of the the best possible time, I guess, from his perspective. Worst possible time for CLG, because he gets one more kill before Cutler goes back, and Method do still have the man advantage. Tarek's going to go safely to the back corner of the site to get this bomb plant down, and Cutler in Graveyard knows there's still a player over on A-side somewhere, but hasn't been able to spot him. Now he finally does speak up on Sarobe coming around. It's going to be actually silent to catch Tarek as they completely distract him, and they do get Cutler down, and there's the end as he gets stuck up there, and it was all Roberts who just waited it patiently, and he'll get the kill, so... 1-0, now comes to 1-1. Method immediately back with an anti-eco, or rather an eco of their own, excuse me. 
Yeah, staying alive in the pit was just so incredibly critical. You saw what's the bomb got planted by CLG that they were they tried to get in the post plant spots, but where are they gonna go? They can't get into pit one stuck in the bomb site that was and Cutler does make his way to graveyard, but it eliminates so many positions where they can go after the plant. So very nicely done by Method. They take it an advantage they got early on in the round. They got the equalizer, that boost got them one, and that was the man up situation that they needed to position themselves very, very well to eventually take down CLG. So now they have some AK 47s that they salvaged. They got two of them and three, uh, three other rifles behind it M4A 4s and M4A 1s. And passive setup. Freely this time. He's going to hold on Arch by himself. This will put mainline. And silent in the pit together. So one to watch Boiler passively and one to watch directly above him on the doorway from the apartments. But CLG aren't heading that direction at all. They want this B site and they want it with vengeance. These pistols are going to pour inside. It's going to be Streber and Justin that wait. Around the corner, late smokes come out, but they've already pushed through. Justin's on the backside of Fountain, but Strever's already found one. Justin's mopping them up, but it doesn't work anything. These pistols go nowhere, and Strever makes it work. That looked like it had potential. If they could have found the first player on the crossfire, picked up the gun, or even just overwhelmed on the backside of the site where Justin was playing, there was a chance for it, but it amounts to nothing. Really good hold from CL, or rather from Method. Yeah, a uh, really good hold. They just mopped it up, but it is going to be a four spot here at a CLG. They did get the uh, bomb plant in that second round that they lost. So that money is going to allow them to have a pretty decent buy here. They do have some good utility behind it. Three AK-47s, two Galils, so... But look at the Molotovs on the side of Method here. They've got four of them, so so much time can be wasted with smokes and Molotovs in the choke points. And even one is going to go down to the tree. That's exactly what Hayes is. These nades do a damage. It's a triple push over to B. It's an equal trade so far. They come out on top. Justin's very low. Strebber's still behind the sandbags, but he's going to use the cover of that smoke to fall back. So it's going to be a four on three here. It's a good play. They change it up entirely. They stay passive while the pistols are out because they don't want to risk giving away guns up close. And then as soon as they know it's a gun round, they completely catch them off guard, throw a curveball, get aggressive on Banana. And they do get the better of the exchange. A man advantage. Justin on 11 HP. Strepper on 39. As this fire finally burns itself dry, FNS wants to peek to the left side, but no one's waiting there. It's actually just going to be a really passive hold on A. Silence on the balcony. Neely's just waiting for them to push further from Moto. I think he may have just spotted the edge of FNS, so he throws out the nade, but FNS is waiting as well. That nade goes a little bit too deep, and as a result, they pass on the corner, but he still holds the angle. Bomb gets fumbled forward, so they do have to push to at least pick that up. FNS is able to recover that quickly due to Ely falling back. Still has to be careful, because Trevor is going to be on the rotation and on the flank quite quickly, and FNS, with Tarek down, has nowhere to hide. And Method, they'll pick that round up as well. Things looking really good for this start on the CT side for them. And you said it, they look like the most confused team that have moved up, and they're showing off some good form. Again, it's early on, and it is the CT side of Inferno, but uh, good team play so far. Yeah, and their man, uh, these these gun rounds, they've or even that, that eco round they won, they get themselves a man advantage early on in the rounds, and then they just fall back, and they play it so smartly. They play, they turtle up a little bit, play a little bit more passive. They don't give the equalizer back to them, and they force CLG to execute with the man disadvantage. So... Very, very well done so far by Method early on in this half. But they're going to need a big lead on this CT side. We, uh, you know, I mentioned a couple times, CLG, how good they are in their defense. 80% win rate in the matches they've won. So Method's going to need to have a little bit of a cushion going forward. They can potentially get another one here that would add to that. They want to get Boiler presence this time. So last time... When they went for a full eco, they did try and get up Banana. We saw what that did to them on that entry. This time they want to take the fight a little bit closer on A. Mainline, Silent against double stacking on this pit play. With Silent pushed up to the hood of the truck, trying to watch out toward Boiler. The aggressive angle, though, because he's pushed up, this does give him a lot better free reign of his aim. He does have a lot more to see through than just that gap, but it also means he couldn't spot them coming out of Boiler. So they don't have the information yet that they are up middle right now, especially with Ely playing passive on the arch side. Yeah, but they're going to double pick. That's huge. After here comes the exit. They catch him off guard. They spray it down. It's an equal trade. Silent doing some work in the pit. He grabs Cutler as well. But FNS picks up an AK-47, executes, and the bomb is down at pit. So that's going to get a time for this rotation. FNS does fall, and now it's Hayes with the rifle. He has the bomb, but like I said, he's stuck at the pit now. Big win on that exchange through Archway. If 
FNS could have at least traded that gun one for one. It leaves him in a one-on-one -on -one retake situation with this bomb going down. Hayes at least gets it planted, but he has the disadvantage. And as a result, there you go. There's the trade. If that was one-on-one, -on -one, he wins it. Instead, Method are going to pick up their fourth round. Yeah, but a plant and four kills, that's a huge eco round for them. So much damage dealt. A lot of rebuys going to come out on the Method side. They do have plenty of money. They're going to have to drop one for a mainline, but still. Nicely done by CLG, chipping away the economy. Now we're going to see that AWP in JDM's hands. And a solid buy behind it. Molotov, smokes alike. I'll come out for CLG here. What's the setup? It's a really standardized play from Method. Always two to be out of spawn. Haven't gone for an early A push, despite that that time they could have with the spawns they had. So they're not stacking it up and trying to play for contention with aggression. Instead, they just smoke it at car. So Method likes to be quite passive. They did throw that curveball in the first gun round, but overall, it's pretty standardized play at B, it has to be said. Meanwhile, though, this is a whole lot different. This is your VP push in, in apartments from them. So you've got Silent, Mainline all pushed up. Ely's gonna watch the backside on the booster, rather the jump up from Tarek, and Mainline's already collected the first, but Tarek does manage to get Ely. This forces them to fall back. They don't even play for the trade, and they go all the way back to the pit. Silent's gonna try and cross over, does so successfully, gets inside the site before he's spotted up, but now Method have a real chance to hold. The problem is that they may give up this wrap. Strepper has got close to the arch side. This gives them a bit of a chance to hold it. In fact, Silent's gone even further, so they won't allow for it. This is, this is a good play, actually, to make sure they can't wrap onto that site. Yeah, they smoke it off as well. JDM was going to try and pick it with his AWP. He's forced back. But the defense is now spread thin. It's a 2-2 two and two in terms of the CT defense at each bomb site. It looks like Strebber's kind of cheating a little bit for a quick rotate over towards A. But the scary part is these, these players in A, since there's only two of them there, they're forced to play so far back. They don't have any intel. Now they're going to hear all the noises, but it's too late. The rotate's going to take too long. It's all up to these two players. And on those two players, it will come, and Silent only getting the first, so now it comes down, unfortunately, to a last man inside the site. It's gonna be actually mainline, but he's already countered as JDM goes to work, does collect only the one, but Strever comes through, manages to collect him outside a library. Good flashes, good nades, everything going out to make sure he can't go any further, and he's very low on HP. 15 at that, does have money to rebuy. They're in a decent situation in that regard, but they don't have a ton of money, actually. As I say that, I look, and Ely's only got 36 and 37 for mainline. They will get drops out from Justin and Strepper, but that save actually could have potentially bought them a gun further in one more round. Yeah, they're, they're going to be stuck on Famuses in this round, more than likely. Oh, nope, one of them does uh, does get an extra M41, so... But you're exactly right. The economy for them is just, is just gone now at this point, so this is a must-win round. For both teams, really, the economy is very, very weak. Neither team being able to establish anything. CLG just finally picking up one after a four-round loss. And a triple push down B, so they're going to grab banana control from CLG, and that's going to allow them to overstack at the A bomb site once they fall off this. Well, this is that. This is what I was kind of thinking they might try in the last round, just by getting that one out of spawn. We see Nip do it. We see TSM do it. We see pretty much everyone do it based on spawn points. But Justin falls off accordingly this time. Like you said, this gets them a potential stack. Mainline's just waiting on top of Speedway, so he's not quite on the A site, but he'll be extremely quick on the heels of anyone who tries to come in from the T side. And likewise, he'll be back to B quite accordingly as well. But Strever's playing really passively to make this work, so he pretty much has to call first and ADCs for Mainline to come back. Actually, he's already lurking back, so. Yep, and last smoke used over towards B right now. It's going to give them until about 30 seconds. The main attack of CLG is going to be coming up mid, though. Three of them, four of them, actually, with the bomb drop there. And they have complete bracket controls. Without the kind of utility that Method wants to hold that, they just give it up. So they're playing a very passive A setup, giving a lot of room for CLG. And CLG is just going to fall all the way back towards B, and this is where they're going to be hitting the bomb site. And there's nothing to use. No flashes, no smokes, no Molotovs, no anything here for the B players. Here they come in, Cutler's gonna be the first around the corner, bouncing that Molotov off the skybox, but it doesn't down deep enough. It only covers off Orange's one, so Strever's able to stay put. They still find him, a mainline on top of Spool saw someone through the gap in the smoke. It was JDM that goes down as a result. Justin's still gonna find Cutler. Hayes 
Tarek, they're still going to do work, though. They've still got a chance here to secure this post-plant situation, but not if Jesting continues forward with that sort of aggression. And now the position's the only position they have is FNS as Hayes rushes desperately to try and get back over toward the B site, but FNS doesn't need him. He walks back out, and on low HP, he'll collect both as they line up, and he drops them. Finally, CLG gets something else going for them, and now they're going to make it 4-3. to three. Back to backgrounds also important, resetting that money. Yeah, and Method with the aggression on that retake almost make it work in a 2-on-2. Two -two. FNS plays Hero, though. That spray control, that transfer. Beautiful stuff from him as he peaks. Very, very well done by FNS. And FNS actually, leads the way, by the yeah. way. He's tied with everyone. Now there's four players on set. Good opening by Color. They're, they're very lucky to get away with that round, to be completely honest. That looked great for Method, even in the 2-on-2. Two -two. But here on the eco round, Method's just getting cleaned up. Oh, I, I completely agree. The retake was so quick that they didn't have any post plants down. Justin walked in as they were still trying to get into position. I actually didn't think Finesse would take that peak that aggressively. I thought he would try and wait out more time for Hayes to get in position. He makes it count. Aggressive play from Mainline and Apartments. He's going to get spotted by Hayes, and he'll make no mistake with the AK. And this leaves just Ely left. Yeah, nothing to do, and he's so far away from the action. They're going to get the bomb planted over towards A. He doesn't even have a gun to really go find. Uh, you know, he's he might pick up this deagle and try and grab some magic, but... Method's got to get back onto that. You know, here's what CLG, they changed up. They're not losing players right now in the early stages of the round, because that's how Method really won the second round and won that first gun round, was they got, you know, a player or two advantage, and they just turtled up into the bomb sites and forced it execute and won it from there. Ely, Ely is going to pick one up, that's Cutler, he falls, but one HP left, no more he can really look for, unless he finds some kind of a magical 1D, JDM misses the off shot, Tarek cleans him up, but CLG's managed the early portions around much, much better on this uh, three-round winning streak they have going on for him, and if they can keep doing that, I mean, Method's got to either find some way to get a frag to give themselves a man advantage, or they've, or they've got to stabilize in the mid-round, they got to hold off these executes, because that's kind of where CLG's been killing them. So they bring it back just as quickly... As that, they win the pistol, they get ecoed, and now we get back to fours. Finally, CLG back on track, the track that they thought they would be on after that pistol round. As JDM, let's see if he can open anything up right now. As Cutler smoked off. Streber and Justin, a little more aggressive this time on Banana. And it's a double stack arch side. We're not going to see this double stack pit, which we've been seeing from time and time again from Method, or at least early on in this matchup. It's going to be only silent to cover off apartments, and both of those front side players pretty much have to get smokes out and delay them in any way possible, and then fall back to the site extremely fast, because if silent gets overwhelmed from apartments, they're going to have the A site down for a quick plant if Ely's not able to get in position. Yeah, and uh, with the Molotov and JDM sands, he could choose to try and flush mainline out when they do come up mid, but they're just going to do, they're just going to drop some smokes there and wrap side. That pretty much forces them to wrap into the bomb site. 40 seconds of Maylight actually sprays through, does some great damage on a Tarek down to 33 HP. They don't continue forward, so they've taken Brackets control. Tarek is so low down to 12 HP, but they've taken Dracket control, they've forced the defense to play more passive, less information to be gathered by Method, and they can choose where to go from here, but 30 seconds left. I mean, they don't even have a lot of time to rotate back towards B. And that time continues to dwindle. They still haven't gone around. They have to essentially play for this wrap because Tarek's lurking up. They are going to try and get to it right now, but Mainline realizes they're on that side, and he'll just fire down the wall. Finesse walks into his bullets, and this slows things even further. CLG, 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Finally, they're going to go in toward the B. But how close can they get with Tarek Round's already over. dropping down around? Yep, it's done. They can't even get there. They haven't even got the plant in position. JDM will at least get Strever, but with the bomb dropped on the way in, they give themselves too little time, and that's, I guess, exactly what Apex was talking about. You wait, you wait, you wait, and you run out of options. Yeah, that was a little bit, that was a little bit, uh, that was rough for CLG there. Even though they did get map, or the uh, mid control, might have just been better there for them to go for an A hit there. They had four players up mid, but they decided to fall back, so a little bit wary of the defense from Method on, on the A site. They just, I mean, they ran out of time early. Like, there wasn't even, it wasn't even close. They weren't even in the bomb site yet when they ran out of time. As soon as Tarek fell with that bomb, the round was over. See now how Method want to respond to this because it gives them a round to pull guns back up right away. It gives them a round to breathe. But four rounds already going to CLG is looking pretty strong. 
And JDM wants to be first around the corner, but he's going to have to wait for these executions. There's going to be two smokes coming out, one for Spools, one for CT in the form of Hazed, but... Two Molotovs for the defenders at B. If this execute comes in, I mean, they could they could force them to run through fire. Usually you see that Molotov go over barbecue side with a late throw. The problem is they're forced out of position too soon. There it is. Finally, the Molotov does come in. So it gets out, but they have two players in already. It does separate them just a little bit. So segregated are hazed and FNS. JDM and Tarek are in position. They're going to try and boost up and try and get them above the smoke, but Tarek's already fallen back down. Justin hears them. He knows they're up close. And Strobo hasn't been spotted yet. Problem is that smoke on CT connector is also going to dissipate soon, and Ely's in good position to get a shot through, so they have to finally get in with this execution. FNS does find Striver. Well placed from him as Justin gets back to FNS, but he needs to be so careful not to go down before Mainline gets in position to catch Cutler, and it's falling apart yet again as Tarek is going to drop. Bomb gets in position, but already they're all over them, and similar to that, that round that they actually won with FNS's heroic play, they don't have any positioning post plant, and this time there will be no spray to collect two. Method. <laughs> Well done by them. Yeah, what an interesting round. The patience from, from those B players was is very impressive with the smokes coming down and everything. I mean, there were so many opportunities where they could have just peeked for information. CLG was just zoned in on some positions, but nicely done by Method. And so much time, it took so much time. You're right, that smoke and the Molotovs really cut off that attack from CLG, so they couldn't bully their way into the bomb site. It's so much time for rotations to come into play. So despite a nice entry frag from CLG, and also, one thing we should touch on, two rounds ago in the gun round, they actually had two players die after the round timer ended, so that's going to force an early eco here out of CLG. That's kind of brutal. They're all of Tech 9s. They're nated as they're coming up B. All four of or four players in Banana. This is a good defense. That uh, stack of wood seems to be on fire from my perspective. <laughs> the kindling has been lit. And they're going to put another smoke out. They're going to be forced to run right through this. So here comes the pop flash. You can see him turned around. And here it comes. Running right into the blender. There are three of them just get sprayed down immediately. Streber and Justin not letting anyone through. Even popping out a Molly right behind the smoke. This round's all but over. And yeah, the fire this time. So the wood was definitely burning. Flash to allow Justin to re-peek it. Cutler finally does take him down. So they'll lose one, potentially give up this AK. CLG, they're gonna really bash their head against this wall and still try and go with only one gun. Strever pops out that flash. He'll collect the AK, but Hayes gets back into him and now he's got a real chance to save it. And he's gonna try. He's running down banana, but Silent's already top mid. There's a smoke there. Why is there a smoke there this late in the round? I didn't see how that got there, but Silent sees through it. The op reign supreme and no gun saved, another round loss for CLG. And Method are finally pulling back what was rightfully theirs on the CT side, but it might be a little bit late. There's four rounds already given up to a team like CLG, who on Inferno aren't too bad at all on their CT side. Yeah, they're very, very strong. And, and this is a situation where Method, I don't even, I don't, they can't let CLG get past five. You know, that that's kind of where they have to draw the line here. So Op is back in JDM's hands. But a very patient, patient strategy from CLG. They're doing a very good job of... Oh, look at this VP stack once again for Method. Three players in the halls. They're more than likely going to be able to catch one out. That's going to be Hayes, who's over here. If he walks up, he died to this exact stack just a few rounds ago. Damn, that Molly on car looks good, too. That's a cool graphic. It just looks like the whole car is in blaze. But Tarek does realize there's one in... Bedroom, he catches Ely as he comes up the stairs to try and respond. So good peek by Tarek to know that someone had to be getting up close and personal with him. Gives yeah, them a they, bit more room. They break that stack very, very well. Tarek got that same entry frag the last time they did it as well. So it's just uh, the same thing as it's just repeated itself. History all over again. Deja vu. And they'll fall back accordingly into Banana this time because they thought they pulled the rotator over. They did actually have Strober back over toward that CT spawn. He didn't quite go through the arch all the way into A, but now he's back in position and... He and Justin together on this B site have been absolutely lethal. They're going to try and flash it through. Now they think better of it. That flash actually caught two of their players, so they won't go. Now they will. Fires out on the backside, and Silent tries to bury his face. Rather, Justin tries to bury his face into the corner and avoid all the flashbangs as he was blinded up. But it's to no avail. They'll find him waiting and get the bomb down. And this time, finally, they have the chance to set up some post-plant positions. Yeah, this might just be a save here for Method. Uh, I'm not sure that they're even... Nope, they're just breaking it out right now. Going for the save, calling it back. 
Yeah, they so need nice to game. because Justin's only on fifty or five fifty. Excuse. Me. Yeah, they're they're gonna need to drop a gun and. It's interesting that Method actually plays this. They're very trusting. When they go a man down, they play two on two in the bomb site. They've been doing it all half. So CLG is just able to equalize some trades as they come through and come out on top. But it all started with Tarek getting that pick into a Halls and a Willy. So what's that? Actually, two Molotovs broke that stack up, and you could see the two players, one on stairs, one peering down the stairs. Uh, for a double peek, they immediately called it off and just started falling away. Ali actually got aggressive instead of falling back, and, and he gets punished for it. So that's what broke that round open for CLG. And I mean, what, what's the magic number for you for CLG on T side in this map? Do they really need that much to work with, given how good their CT side is? I mean, six six is where I think nine six ever where I think everyone should really be on Inferno lately. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think, oh, there's JDM with another pick. So Silent goes down, another 5 on 4 situation for CLG very early on. And yeah, I think if uh, CLG gets past 5, this should be, if they get to 6, this should be a no brainer for CLG to win this one. That CT side is very, very strong, especially against some of the move up teams. Justin this time has the counter op waiting at top middle. Ely gonna try and smoke out. Actually, just get drops a nade down toward bench. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. A little bit to Tarek, a little bit to FNS. Oh, Tarek eats that nade though, down to 23 HP. That's brutal. Mainline, nice, nice one from him. So once again, it's something where CLG takes this bracket control and then they just immediately fall off it, but they put they push the defense back, so no information about whether they're falling off or not. They're not even leaving a lurker, which is kind of surprising, uh, especially with a man advantage. You can afford to leave that one player. You're slowly becoming robot robotic again. I hope this does not turn into something serious, but FNS tries to take a fight at Pit. He's just lurking it though. They want to go in on B, and they will go in on B, but Strapper won't allow them to go anywhere inside B. Just to the doorway as he picks up triple. Finally, JDM puts him down, and he tries to get forward to get to that bomb. 14 seconds left. Has time to plan it, but he may not have time before Ely gets on his case from construction that actually forces him to get off it so this time he has to stick it does get put into place but he only has this off and he's inside the site in a really awkward position but he makes it work peeks out catches Justin tries to go for the second shot and Ely not able to do it but FNS now brings it back to a one-on-one -on -one. and that kill was absolutely perfectly timed because otherwise it was a two-on-one -on -one split set up and FNS again in a one-on-two he'll clutch it out and CLG pick up that sixth round we said anything past five and it was going to be a good situation now they can breathe easy yeah, well, well, more importantly, that forces an eco round out of Method. An eco round or a force buy, and it does look like it's going to be an eco round. So, CLG, a great opportunity here to get to 7 7 and even to outright win the half in that last round. But, upwork from JDM is actually really solid there to get that one pick and FNS with the outplay behind that pillar of the B bomb site. Not enough trades coming out of Method in that 3 up 2. You're robotic. You've gone full robot. Get some more oil in the system, man. You're getting kind of chunked up. But Ely's pushed inside the bedroom. Back to the pistols, and Ely's the only one over on A, so he's playing it very aggressively. It's a stack on B, otherwise with Strepper pushed out toward those sandbags. No one's been in that position for a while, and there has been some fast executions coming from CLG where they haven't fully checked that off, so there's a chance they could overlook that this, this one particular time. It might be the perfect time, but he's actually going to flash and peek it because he knows they've executed on A already, and he gets the shot on a Cutler. Reasonable damage done. Cutler's going to counter flash himself back out and go for the peek. No, fakes and thinks better of it. I think he anticipated that they'd start spraying the edge of the uh, the logs the second he went for the peak, and he was rightly so, and this time with the team flash to come out, he'll catch main line. So 10 HP, they do claw one more back. As FNS catches Strabber, and it's all down to just Silent and Justin to do the rest of the work, and unfortunately with the Deagle in 5-7, it's pretty much play for consolation prizes at this point. They won't even do that. How do I sound on my robot? Oh, you sound a thousand times better, sir. Cool. So it's 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 interesting because JDM doesn't really have a high kill count with only nine kills, but he's had some huge impact frags and situations in, in this match. And even there, he comes over and he bails out Cutler with a nice pop flash. Cutler having 10 HP behind those logs at B, and JDM's pop flash completely blinds the opposition. Cutler's able to spray one more down. So some very very nice small uh, examples of teamwork out of CLG so far in this matchup. Team is key. We see what Keed Stars can do with it. As Cutler tries to see over top of the smoke and Banana hasn't able to find anyone so far. 
And again, it's a passive hold. That is the reason why, is they're both way back inside the B site. So he'll lurk up and get banana control for free, completely unscathed. But he won't get much more read on the site. Not until they go for a full entry. If they go for the full entry. That's the thing, because Hazed and Tarek are still trying to get a read over toward apartments. Tarek's playing really passive inside alt middle. But Hazed is slowly getting closer and closer to the top of the stairwell. CLG's falling back as a result of that as well. Yeah, importantly though, Mainline and, and Ely are, are still being aggressive up on the wrap side. Mainline's in the cubby. So they can have the information. They'll be able to peek out as well when this execute comes in. Mainline's got a couple flashbangs to use. They've just got to be careful if JDM's up, but they'll be able to mow a couple down with proper teamwork. Strebber gets one over towards B. And there's Mainline. He chooses to pounce right there, but Tarek wins it, and JDM also takes out this teammate. Silent moves at the, just the wrong moment. He gets dinked down. That nade might kill him, and it does, so the A bombsite is easily cracked wide open. This is looking like an eighth round for CLG. An eighth round would be remarkable to win the half T side, and with the CT side they have, it would be quite comfortable to move over and on to that position as JDM peeks out. He'll close out the final kill of the half. Roberts goes down. It's 8-7. And you're right. Oh, I got booted. I got to rejoin. But you're right that JDM didn't have a high kill count, but his frags were actually quite uh, significant. The ones that he opened up, the early picks he got, they were able to execute well on the map control they gained as a result of that. I'm actually just trying to bring up the current stats for the match to see if I can get a read on uh, his entry picks. I know it's I know it's a weird stat, and we always call people out for saying it, but RWS would actually tell me how many kills came in rounds they won, which would actually, in this case, indicate if they were impact kills or not. Yeah, well, that, that was the thing, too, because Method actually did a really good job of uh, of trading early on in the half. Initially, in, in, the, in the early round battles, uh, they at least got the advantage through trades, and that's kind of what that op prevents. When JDM's able to get those picks off very early on, it prevents those trades from coming in, so Method doesn't get the advantage, so it's nicely done by the op on CLG side. And it's going to be an aggressive down mid play. Cutler swings and takes the battle, gets a nice headshot onto Silent. Tarek, meanwhile, and JDM have pushed down, but JDM's isolated. Four players coming out, alternate mid. They're going to spray him down. Oh, and JDM's going to fall here, so this, this push gets pretty much cleaned up, although Cutler does chime in for one more from Hulls. This is a broken round at the moment. He leaves him behind Cutler, though. Oh, too late, though. Cutler already rounded the corner by the time he got in position. Look at the defense, though. Look how spread out it is. Well, look how aggressive it is, though, from Hayes. Because even though it's really spread out, he's on the back of Banana. If they go to A, he's quick to rotate in on a flank. And he's this far down. He can call for Finesse's rotate really quickly. Finesse hesitates a little bit. He does get into position on the CT side of this crossfire just in time. And they do damage on Do. Who is that escaping? Running away, that was Streber, so Strebber. they do at least a decent amount of damage. Cut, drive by. Are you kidding me? Cutler doesn't even stop down at all. And he takes down one, make it two. He catches off Ely as well. He's going for the ace as well. He's got four kills in this round. He's been an absolute beast, just keeping CLG in it by his own strength of will. Athenas looks like he's going to let him go for it too. And he's got it. There we go. Pistol round ace from Cutler. That's good stuff. Uh, he gets the opening kill, he gets the second kill, and, and especially in a round that gets so broken and their rotations get so, you know, just destroyed. He, you know, he has the game sense to know where to go to find more kills, so very, very well done by Cutler. Shout out to Miss Harvey who tweeted saying she was never picking Cutler on the Vulcan fantasy team again. Well, guess what? I hope you <laughs> dropped him, because he's making you pay for it now. Punishment. So Method are going to slow things up a little bit here with these pistols. Do have a shotgun out for Hayes. This is quite interesting. Actually, shotgun and four SMGs. This is the most European setup in the second round we've seen. This is uh, this is the most money-grabbing situation for them to be in. So we'll see if it pays off. Hayes is the one with the shotgun. He's over at the apartments, no surprise. We said last, uh, last game on Inferno that that was actually the more common position we see it commit. Although the uh, Swag 7 has been used at B in multiple situations before. But the SMGs are really where the where the money is going to be going to be won from. They're up against Tech Nines. It's a good counter to them up close from a distance. I still think the Tech Nine has a slight advantage, but close quarters angles, and that's how they're playing it. Cutler's the only one with the rifle. We can see him here. He's inside graveyard, so he'll be able to hold off the front side boiler and patio when they wrap around. Hayes will just drop down if they get too close. It's a decent setup that can play off each other quite well. Yeah, and Tarek's just got a Molotov Prime this entire round. I haven't even switched off. I'm just waiting for these smokes from Method to come over. 
And that's when he'll drop that and he'll be able to play. That's going to be harsh. Here it goes. He drops it. He's got the MP9. That's going to slow things down. Mainline tries to run through it. Gets obliterated. Can't get the trade to come in. So Cutler swings or FNS and Terra combined for two more. Terra just going to town at the moment. All down to Lee. Not able to do anything. So Terra gets three. They only get one kill in that B bomb site. Not enough. Nicely done by CLG there. Yeah, really well done. And one upgrade. They'll stick with the rest of these money grabbing guns because Tarek's going to go to the M M4 to complement Cutler. So Tarek, I imagine, yeah, heading over toward B. Gives him a little bit more punch there, a little bit more standardized play, and it's a full save right now. Glock train. Actually, I take that back. We do have three P250s, but aside from that, no nades, no armor. Nothing else. Cutler shows off why that armor might be missed as the nade does come down on the main line and Strebert is going to fall to finesse immediately after he pops out with that MP7. And now they'll just slow it down and uh, pretty much leave it up to Method to figure out how they want to die next as Cutler finds one more. It's silent in apartments. Yeah, but so much damage on early, so many kills, and no, no chance for any kind of return damage. This is going to be around easily in CLG's favor. We're starting to see... I mean, this this CT side is going to be tough to crack this entire half for Method. Next round is going to be so incredibly important. If Method can't take this one, they're going to be in massive amounts of trouble going forward. I mean, if they drop this one and they're forced to save, especially if they don't get a plant, that's going to give CLG up to 13, and, and that's just almost insurmountable on the terror side, uh, at least here in North America. <laughs> I like how you put it that way. <laughs> At least here it's, on our little continent that we do things this on. Well, you know someone in the chat's gonna be like, oh, we saw Nip come back on the T side of the first one. <laughs> TSM got seven rounds against Fnatic uncontested. They went 7-0 at the start, guys. It's true, though. That actually happened. Just in case you're wondering. Nah, you love TSM. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it to troll anymore or not. <laughs> I'm just happy to see another team winning. I think it's really good for the top of the scene right now to have that many teams capable of winning tournaments, and especially with Na'Vi and Titan now looking good post-patch. Nip actually is the only team that hasn't won a major title out of the top six teams this year. This, obviously, they won Azus ROG, but I don't think you can call that a top top title when they played against Hellraisers in the final, and that was pretty much their best contest and the best challenge in the in the uh, the pool. Yeah, and they had Michael Lely back then as well, so that also adds in. Michael into it. Lely, 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 Lely. I think they should have had face it 16-1 in an overtime map, too. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. It's going to be an execution on to B. Tarek's inside the site. Finesse has to rotate quickly. And look at the smokes. They go for this wall of smoke. So Smet Method showing off some execution tactics. The problem is they don't smoke CT. And that allows Finesse to just walk out and pick down three plus a lovely little assist on Tarek's final kill. That was actually a decent effort to line up those smokes, completely cordon off the site. But... The way to do that is actually put one more CT, and then you can just jump up onto the barbecue and plant the bomb immediately. Yeah, FNS used the pop flash of, of Tarek and that P-bomb site to perfection. FNS is able to just mow him down basically for free. They didn't even really shoot back there until that last player finally. But a good defense from CLG and nothing on the gun round for Method, and that's the scary thing. We talked about they have about an 18% win rate on their Terra site on this map. It's showing why at the moment. Not able to get anything going whatsoever so far. Strober gonna throw one out toward the archway. That'll allow them to push around with these pistols and wrap, but that fire's gonna slow it down a little bit more. Cutler takes down mainline and JDM's just waiting because that smoke doesn't land where they expected it to. Where did that smoke land? That actually failed completely. It fell into the corner. That, that's actually, I mean, that's around where Method had four armor, four armor tech nine buys, and I know, I mean, they have their full looties, losing bonus, so it's not that huge of a deal, but to, to have that much invested in and not, not get any of the kills, I mean, we saw early on CLG was at least chipping away at the economy of Method, and, and that kind of forced an early eco, but none of that is going in the way of Method at the moment. You can see Cutler, t you know, almost $11,000 in his wallet, Hayes has about 10000 so this is very, very scary. CLG, JDM got the op up. We'll see if Mainline can find an opening toward the apartments right now as Tarek and Finesse again putting some decent pressure on a banana. This deep smoke this time allows Tarek to stand underneath the pillows. That's an interesting position though. It is really good because it's so cluttered you can dodge flash as well, but it doesn't give you much to fall off of once they've discovered you. You pretty much just have to 
hide is all you can really do and dodge bullets. And if two players come in, it's harder to get out of. So I appreciate that he's pushed up into the corner more. It makes me rest a little easier about his positioning. Hayes is in a cool spot, though. Yeah. I haven't seen this used in a while. That is a pretty cool spot, especially if you have a smoke to drop it in front of you. You can just peer over it, but this does look like it's going to be a pretty typical A execute. This might be that old school execute where Elite tries to jump through the smokes uh, into pit, but it's not. He turns away at the last second, but here they come. Here's the execute. And we saw that was actually the round nothing did when he bunny hopped into pit and got mm -hmm. behind the player through that smoke. I can't remember who they were playing. I think it was VP at the time, was it not? Yes, I, can't I believe remember. so. Regardless, the execution does come in. Silent finds Haze, so that spot doesn't amount to anything in the end, despite that it's a slight unorthodox position. But JDM up close inside the site. He'll find Alien. Cutler does manage to get back to Justin, but finally the response comes out from Method. They'll take down two, get the bomb in place. And a decent post plant set up already because Graveyard's so good from a T side perspective, but that's not where the retake's coming from. CLG are lurking up around the backside. They have no clue they're coming over from Truck. Right now is Strebber not peeking. He'll be able to push out once they get in position. Now he can do it, but they've already collected both inside the site. He has to hit them both, he does. Unspotted, they overlook it, and he comes out at the least probable time. So despite that he lets two of his teammates die, and they lose some guns from that, he still secures the round. If he lost that double a peek there, that would have been all. I would have blamed him for not coming out a little bit sooner. Yeah, that was uh, that was a nice sequence from him. Yeah, he, he might have been able to come out a little bit earlier, but the pop flash into the bomb site. Uh, you said that they weren't able to get. You said they had great post plant set up, but it, it was pretty good for what they were able to. But the, the take itself took so long that you know they found the best they could. They couldn't get out of that bomb site aside from one player in graveyard, and he's the one who ends up winning it. But the pop flash from CLG inside the bomb site on the retake was brutal. Two players get blind. They get mowed down. Nice and JDM. Shot. Adding in even more damage, or this is going from bad to worse for Method. Uh, this is another entry kill very, very early on. This is reminiscent of the end of last half, when Method just couldn't stop hemorrhaging players early on in the rounds. What was with that trage trajectory line of that flash? Did you see that? Uh, no, I did not. It had like a magical curve in it suddenly. Throwing a curve nade, apparently. We're going back to like original source days. As Tarek takes down Justin, Silent goes back into him though with the op. So that's a trade kill on B, opening up things a little bit for them. But with that smoke out method, don't want to push through it right away. But they will bring that bomb back over. They are still a man down, but they've got a one-man take on B site. So this could work in their favor. Because if Cutler doesn't hurry, oh, they need to go now. Because if Cutler doesn't get there quick enough, then they can actually get decent post-plant positions. But instead, Cutler's going to get all the way onto Speedway before they even go. Yeah, he, I think, uh, yeah, this is taking a little bit too long. Now the, now it's going to come in. FNS has got to live just a little bit longer, but there's a Molotov from Cutler and a nade. So forcing him back, more delayed. He's able to run around. He's behind his smoke at the moment. He could jump up on a spindle and peel her over it. But here comes FNS in the first oranges. He does take the first one down. Strubber's got low HP. He does drop him as well. Pulls out the pistol. Silent misses the off shot, but he's jumping around, and FNS eventually cleans him out. <laughs> I love it. Desperate. No, do it. don't shoot. Just do whatever he can, and he gets taken out eventually, so... We've seen FNS hold that, that B bombsite very, very well this half. I think he's done an excellent job. I, I think that, to be fair, I think that Method did a reasonable job with Justin and Strebber over there as well. It was just later on, once CLG figured them out and figured out their passive play, then they started to exploit it. But I think that, dead right, Finesse did really well that time. They got that first kill onto the first rotator in Cutler. But here we go again, fast play this time coming out with these pistols already around the corner and Tarek behind the car manages to take down Strebber. FNS is in a good position to support him, he'll pick up the second one on Silent. And that nade, oh that nade. Poor Justin. <laughs> it's a very similar around there, just ran a couple a couple rounds ago. Two rushed B, they had two players in apartments with the bomb who just pretty much have nothing left to do now except get naded by JDM, so... Bomb carrier mainline. Gives away his position with the footstep, and JDM just peeking the crack, takes him out. Only one round won by Method on their terror side so far, CLG CT side. Like we said, it's proven to be dominant in this matchup. Definitely has been. So double up, gonna come out JDM, Tarek. I don't think I've seen Tarek up as much this season as last year when they tried to bring it out alongside Peter. I don't think we've seen them run the double op quite as much. Not on Inferno. On certain maps, on maps like Mirage, we saw it the other night. Oh, look at this cleanup. Very early on. This is a gun round two. Two players down immediately, and they're even pushed back at B. Stalled out behind a smoke. Tarek picks up one more. Haze. And Tarek oh, chimes in for the last. For
Yeah. That double up definitely works for them. So that's going to do it. 16 rounds now go the way of CLG. They close out the map. And Method, a reasonable t CT side performance at the beginning of things. But again, once CLG figured out their passive play and took advantage of them, it was all them 